What's the biggest screenwriting pitch you've ever gone out on? And what happened? Yeah, there was a, a pitch that I had with my writing partner. We had a lot of pitches. Um, one solo I've been on that haven't been like, you know, oh my God, this is with, it's been with, you know, heads of television or whatever. But I specifically remember one pitch we did and the head of the company was there. The, the whole strata of people were there, the assistant, the VP, and we went on for way too long. I mean, it was absurd how long the pitch was. They basically told us we saw the whole movie. <laughs> you know, it was like a 20 minute pitch and no one stopped us. And we were crazy enough to rather than make it five minutes or, oh, you know, and we walked out of there and our manager said, they're gonna, they're gonna buy this and blah, blah, blah. And it was just like, oh my God. And uh, <laughs> something happened where it wasn't, it never materialized, but um, there was another pitch. It wasn't big, but the the guy made us wait, and he was late. And then we're sitting in the lobby, and we see him in the office, and he sees us, and he like pulls the blinds, and we're oh, like, "Oh no, that's a good sign." <laughs> oh and I hadn't, gosh. we had been around, and I hadn't had lunch, and I was like freaking out. I was like, "I got to eat something," so I went in their pantry, and I was like ripping open bags of cookies and stuff, and. OJ, I gotta get my blood sugar up, you know? And then he comes out, hey, and he walks us into his room and we're like, whew, okay, he's back in our, you know, and we sit down and what do you got for me? And we go, well, here we go. And, and we always would pitch where um, my partner was like P.T. Barnum, you know, and I would fill in the blanks here and there. We start to pitch and about 30 seconds into it, he stopped, oh, 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 oh stop, 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 stop. He goes, it's, 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 it's crap. He goes, it's just, it, I don't believe any of it. And oh, we were no. like, he's joking. Yeah, of course he is, right? He was serious. And we both look at each other mortified. And we're like, wow, that, that's never happened. And then he uh, came around from the desk, you know, and leaned on the desk and said, okay, here's the thing. I got an idea from my nephew. And he sent me a 10-page email. And now he's pitching us. <laughs> and I've never had it where... where Ever. I mean, all, all the pitches in my entire life, so you never know, but they always let you finish. I mean, they'll interrupt you, but they'll let you finish the pitch. He cut us off at the knees and then he pitched us. He twisted around and you think, well, okay, um, maybe that'll be our idea. And he says, what do you think? And we were like, I don't know what to think. I think we got to get out of here, <laughs> you know? So we both left and um, he rode the elevator down with us. Oh, wow. And he said, you need validation? I said, well, I was hoping it was from you, but yeah, I, I, <laughs> I need it for the $18 to park, you know, because you were late 45 minutes with your other meeting. Uh, cookies were great in the pantry, but that doesn't, you know. So uh, he said, all right, you know, go off and blah, blah, blah. And we never saw him again. But so you never know. Pitching is a, is a really mixed bag. And I've also been on a uh, pitch at a, a big production company with the heads of television and they, I mean, it was out of body experience. I mean, I was almost sitting like, who is this guy? I mean, I was sitting like next to myself watching right. it because I, and they were late, which many times, you know, they'll make you wait. They're, you're not, it's like the doctor's office. You're like, it was for 1130. And they're like, hey, I know, but it's 12. And they were, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, would you like some water? No, I'd like scotch, please. <laughs> Excuse me. And then you begin and... I was on, you know, and sometimes you know you're just on and you can see it. And the questions that they ask are at the end, which is great. They don't interrupt you in the middle. And then your train of thought, you're like, uh, you know, and you're, you know. And the questions were just, um, what city do you see this happening? They weren't like, I didn't get the part about the thing. And you're like, oh no, you know, because you practice your pitch backwards, forwards before you go. And it's, it's a lot of it's improv too. You know what I mean? And you have to leave those spaces open for them to go, could it be a thing? You, yeah, yeah, that's, that's great. I love that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you've made it that much better. Yeah, yeah, but you have to leave it open for it to go, you know, certain ways. And I left and they were like, thank you very much. And I called my manager and she was like, oh my God, I wish I could have been there and seen that. I said, it was, it was high. It was, it was a great high walking out of there. Now they didn't buy it, but... I pitched at a professional level where that door is completely open. So it's not like, who that, 
Yeah. You know what I mean? So you, you never know. You're just talking about pitching. It's a mixed bag, but you have to, um, it really helps to have a writing partner. <laughs> you know, when you, when you both go in, right. except the one guy we wanted to like flip his desk over and go, what? And break the windows and say, I don't, you know, he turned the tables on us for sure. So when you leave a situation like the one that you just mentioned, not not the one where you've you've had an outer body experience almost, but oh, the bad one, the bad one, yeah. How are you regrouping? Like, how are you saying? Well, at that time we went back to our handler, you know, and said, "Oh my gosh!" And this is like ridiculous. We had such good pitches during the day, and that one was just off the from another planet. I don't know what happened there, and. Um, you know, you don't let it rattle you too much. You got to move on, and that's not the end all be all. It was just a freaky, deaky situation. You know, you don't want all of them to be like that. Sure. And I remember another pitch um, the person was like, you know, almost falling asleep, and that's not good either. But, but you're what? like, at least you could hide that. You know, I, I know you don't like it, but, and then the minute that we finished, you know, she got up and said, well, thank you very much for coming in. You're like, this is, was just a waste of time with everybody, you know. Maybe you could tell. Like, they can, you know, you can read. And another one was like, oh, my, uh, <laughs> there was one at a studio. There were, like, diapers around the office. Oh, I, my nanny usually has the kid, but I had to, t there was, like, a little, and we're like, yeah, don't be distracted. We're only trying to, you know, pitch for our lives here, you know. <laughs> so it's like, you never know. When you come off of one that was like magical, sure. how soon are you finding out? They're, they're telling you it's a pass right away? Uh, usually they get back to your agent or manager right, you know, shortly thereafter. It's not like weeks after, no. And then they say, yeah, you know, we, we really like uh, what was, they're going to buy it. I mean, out of, sometimes they buy it in the room, you know, and it happens. But, but more importantly about that is that you, you show that you have ideas. That you that you you know you have cohesive ideas that can actually like we were saying, what makes something a TV show? Well, you can pitch something. They go, yeah, that's like the stuff we do, you know. And so it's on that level of like, ooh, it's convoluted, it's all over the place. The, it's not even a good pitch, I, you know. There's so many holes in it. That's what you don't want. So you've done your homework before you ever get there, and then that keeps the door open. And then of course, um, you send a thank you card, which I always say. You know, handwritten thank you card after that, uh, not an email to those people that you met with because they'll get it a week later and they'll, even if they pass, they go, oh, Mark, yeah. You know what? He, because they're busy with a million other pitches, you know, 100 a week or whatever, you know, and it's like, oh, yeah, I really liked Mark. You know, that one pitch was, was close. And the closer you get each time, it's a little closer. And maybe the close only is here for a while. And sometimes, the close has actually become something, you know. So even though you didn't get, it's like the one that got away. Yeah, it sounds like you still are left with a feeling of, I almost got there rather than the one where it almost, you feel cheap. Yes. When you leave. Like it's a bad date. Yeah. And just like there was going to be violence. <laughs> I mean, when the guy was like, he came out from around the desk and goes, it's all, yeah, he's yelling at us. We're like. We looked at each other like he's he's got to be joking, and he wasn't. You know, it's one of those right. weird situations. Like, oh yeah, who he's serious? Okay, this train wreck just went off. Is even worse, and now we're left with a, I don't know what we're left with. You know, but what gets you into the pitch is your project. So they have to read something, right? So they read something. They go, oh wow, this is a great pilot. Do you have anything else? I got this other idea. I got two other ideas. Come on in. You know, it's the round robins when you try to. There, you get those fans of your writing, you want that at a lot of different places so that they can be, that door's open. What else do you have? That's why I say for writers that you must have a lot of material, you know, a solid body of work um, that you've worked on that's at a professional level because that script will get you in that company and then they'll, they'll listen to your pitch and then they'll say, we passed, but they won't say it in the room, they passed, but they tell your handler, and they say, what else does Mark have that's similar? Well, he's got another thing. Oh, we'll send it right over. So there's your next chance. Now, who knows if it'll sell or not, but you keep that. You can see how you can burn out stuff quickly too, sure. but you need that constant um, uh, wheel, you know, turning of creating material. 
you know, not just the one script because the one script could be a one-off where they go, this is fantastic. You got anything else that you've written? Sure. Well, I'm working on something and I'll be done in six months. <laughs> well, we'll see you. I won't be here. I'll be fired. I'm the executive, you know. But whoever's here, maybe will answer your call or won't. And, you know, so you have to keep that constant. And it would take two or three scripts, I think, whether TV or features, you know. And if you have a little accolade like, whoa, I almost placed in a contest or something, oh, great, you know, rather than I'm just another writer here with a script, please buy it, you know. Did you get any of those? You said you got them through an agent because you had a handler. Yeah, agent and a manager. Mm -hmm. uh, well, at that time, just a manager. 